So being a fan of sniping ever since I can remember with Call of Duty, things really didn't change with Black Ops 6. The difference with Black Ops 6 is though, I feel sniping isn't anywhere near as effective as it once was. Now I'm a standard player. I don't use two boxing or VPNs to get into easier lobbies. I sit here with you guys most of the time watching these COD streamers and their clips just wondering how they get into lobbies where players don't seem to shoot back. I'm just staggered that all the players I play against seem to be playing for a million dollars. The good news is sniping with season 1 has gotten much much better and slightly easier and today guys I bring you the best builds for all 3 snipers in the game right now. Things have changed with season 1, different attachments may apply so let's go. How's it going people my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So I hate watching any kind of build video and the creator doesn't show the full build of attachments and just talks over gameplay, here though we do things a little different. Plus the fact I don't have gameplay playing against players who have the reactions of turtles. Ok so firstly with season 1 snipers have been buffed. The adjustments across the board where all snipers now have a 1 second 50% idle sway scaling at the beginning of aiming down sights which steadies things up massively now opposed to that pre-season 1 patch and all snipers having a base flinch resistance improvement of 17% they are a much much better place to go, they really are. Now all 3 snipers received further buffs which we will get to most with their ADS and their sprinter ADS speeds as well as various attachment buffs too but let's get into the builds people so let's start with the LW3A1, the thrust line Firstly, the sniper itself and the buffs it got you can see on the screen now. The sniper getting an improved ADS speed, sprint to fire speed and tactical sprint to fire speed in my opinion make this the best all round sniper to actually quick scope with. Although I expect to get hit markers with this it's still the most fun and consistent in overall circumstances. There's also various attachment adjustments to here which you're seeing on the screen now and things may change on the build you're previously used to. Ok so let's get into the attachments I use and recommend. Firstly, the muzzle. Here guys you want to use the muzzle brake. It helps eliminate the first shot recoil and gives you that kick reset speed, which is what you want. Next up we have the barrel. You want here the reinforced barrel or the long barrel. This sniper benefits from the damage range as like I said it's a hit marker machine for sure. If this wasn't the case the short barrel here would be the one to use. The stock pad here I would use the precision pad with the added aiming idle sway and the horizontal recoil control I feel this one's the right choice. Magazine I use extended mag 1 as it doesn't affect ADS speed. With the comb I use the quick draw riser for that added ADS speed although I don't feel like the ergonomic riser is a bad choice either. Stock we use a combat stock this is great for that flinch resistance for sure now I used to use and I'm sure you probably used to use the heavy stock but the slight nerf swayed me away and towards that combat stock which in my opinion is the better one to use. Now the laser we originally used a stray lock due to the hit fire to ADS accuracy I believe it somewhere got nerfed down the line which made players switch to the target laser due to a problem with where you were aiming before and then after being scoped in being off target the target laser seemingly helped here definitely helped me uh, but after the season 1 patch update I feel like the stray lock now is a much much better choice to use with buffs to snipers the stray lock seems to work as intended and then guys lastly firing mods we use the rapid fire here purely because it's needed with this weapon due to the standard slow ability to pull off consecutive shots in short succession ok so that's it for the LW3A1 thrust line definitely in my opinion the quickest ADS sniper in the game and with this build the most consistent ok so now on to the SVD which is another sniper I really enjoyed using so on screen now guys you can see the adjustments made to the weapon with the season 1 patch as well as the attachments with it. Optic here I actually hate the standard scope on the SVD so I use either one of two either they remove the dual zoom or the Blandwell 7x scope. If you are fine with the standard scope on this I'd definitely substitute in the FMJ rounds for damage penetration. 
Muzzle here, we use the Muzzle Break. Barrel here, we use the Long Barrel or the Reinforced Barrel for that damage range. As this one without this, we'll get plenty of hit markers. Uh, Precision Handguard is the Under Barrel we use. We then use for the Mag, we use Extended Mag 1 or Fast Mag 1, which gives you a slight ADS increase. Quick Riser or the Ergonomic Riser on the comb. Stuck, we use Heavy Stuck or the Combat Stuck. And lastly, the Laser, you want to use the Stray Lock again, guys, because again, it's the best in my opinion after the Season 1 patch and above two snipers. Okay, so the last sniper here, we have the LR 7.62. So with this build, it's basically the same as the Frost Line besides the barrel here. Uh, on screen now you can see the adjustments made to the weapon and its attachments that came with the Season 1 patch. So muzzle here, we use the muzzle break. Barrel, you use the short barrel here, because um, this weapon gets way less hit markers and the short barrel definitely suits the quick scope in place style, in my opinion. Precision handguard on the underbarrel. Mag, you can either use the extended mag 1 or fast mag 2, which will give you a slight ADS increase, but this does bring the magazine clip size down to A4, so I use extended mag 1. Quick draw grip is the rear grip you want to be using here for that ADS time, obviously. Stuck, we use the combat stuck, and then the laser, we use the stray light laser as a gain. I feel it's the best after that season one patch for that quick scoping. And finally, on the fire mods, we use rapid fire to make the weapon more consistent in firing off quick shots under pressure. And there we have it for, in my opinion, the best builds for your quick scoping needs for all snipers in the game as of right now. A fourth sniper will be added into the game in the mid-season event, I do believe. Cannot wait for that. Uh, but what about perks and equipment? Now, this all depends on what you're actually going for, plus the game you're playing and the people you're playing against. If I were to recommend any, I'd probably say Ninja Tracker and Cold Blooded for that recon combat speciality. Wildcard. Obviously, you need gunfight here. I feel to get the most out of sniping in Black Ops 6 is needed, which in itself screams that there is a problem with snipers. Tactical, I use uh, Shot Charge. Lethal, I use Combat Axe, which just takes me back to my Black Ops 1 emblem days, which I will add, by the way. Combat Axes have gotten more and more inconsistent, hard to throw and judge the drop on them. I mean, what are they doing with these? Just keep them the way they were. And then guys, we have the field upgrade I use here, Warcry. And that is basically it guys. But there we have it guys, in my opinion, the best three builds for all three snipers in the game right now for season one, quick scoping in Black Ops 6. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.